You remember watching Star Trek thinking how cool the tech was and how you wish you could get your hands on a futuristic operating system called L-Cars, which stood for Library Computer Access Retrieval System? Well, I don't know if futuristic still applies. Some may call it retro. But either way, it's an app on the Windows 8 store. So if you're interested, come take a look inside. This is L-Cars for Windows 8 RT. What's going on team? Newt Man here representing Three Bros All Game. Uh, here's the LaCars app I was referring to earlier. Uh, if you look here, you see how the, the icon, that's yes, configurable. You could change that to whatever icon you like. So uh, whatever Starfleet or whatever space picture uh, you want to put there, it's simple. Just go ahead and download that pic from the internet. Say your engineering core, you like Starfleet nurses, you can go ahead and put it in there. Uh, I'm like the tactical person whenever I play online. So I thought this was fitting. Uh, stepping right to it, this is your home screen of the OS slash app. I say OS because the app is designed to look like an OS. It has a lot of neat features. So you get to it. Right here, the first tab is the clock tab. Uh, it does a fairly good job. Uh, shows the date, shows the time. Uh, you change it from 12 hours, 24 hours. And uh, the star date is at the bottom as well as the time. Uh, from there, you can go hit the atmosphere. And uh, it tells you pretty much the weather. I compared it to weather, uh, weatherchannel.com. Not sure how accurate that is, but it's, it's fairly, fairly good. Uh, pretty much maybe a number or so off. Whatever developer decided to pull its uh, weather data from, though, it seems to be very accurate. You can do your current day, see what the humidity is. Shows a cool little planet thing right there to the right. And uh, also, as, as earlier, you can do the five-day forecast. You do it based upon up here, you put your zip code. Another thing is you can name or label your uh, your ship up there to the right. You can also change the designation number. So again, it's a it's fairly cheesy app, but it's an awesome app for our Star Trek tech, uh, Trekkies. Um, really good job on a developer. Moving on, you have your log editor. Uh, that tab pretty much allows you to take notes, kind of like a notepad. You have text, audio on your video. Uh, so text, you write it, of course. Audio. You can say captain's log, put the star date, uh, role play purposes, and it'll record. You can play back anytime. And video, it access the front and back camera. You just decide which one you want to record, and you watch it all within this OS. Uh, familiar things, familiar things, copy, cut, paste, new, open, save, save as. Moving on. Uh, media player plays uh, a lot of files. Uh, didn't try uh, Apple's format. Or movies uh, definitely should take a look at that but music wise does very well and I uh, played videos all types with the exception of the Apple and it now opened up calculator uh, again it's trying to make it it's not really a productivity app but they're trying to the developer to put some productivity portions in there I guess for role playing or goofy purposes that work has some it works fairly well it's a good calculator has the funky sounds to go along with it uh, I think that's awesome. File manager within this app slash OS, the LaCars, you can create folders to store certain stuff. What you want to store and, and when or what is kind of up to you. Uh, Pix works in there just fine. I haven't tried anything else beyond Pix. Now this is the first role you can change the mode of the OS and you kind of more into the role play portions of, of the app. So you have your systems allocations, kind of showing where your system, your power energy is going. You can make those you can prioritize uh, the allocation with these tabs right there. Uh, next up, you have your warp core. You see how it adds the sound. Thought it was really good. You can shut it down. Warp core shutdown in progress. Has the familiar Lacar's uh, feminine voice attached to it. You can restart it up, and uh, you can also shut it down and eject it as well. And I won't do nothing to the app. It'll just say warp core ejected. Here's your con mode uh, tab, excuse me, and you can kind of set sys destination systems. You can go as far as impulse, you can go to warp. Uh, if it's anything greater than, let's say, 10 light years, you're going to watch this app for a long time. Anyway, when you do engage, it tells you engage. You can change the pitch and the yaw, 
with this adjustment and you'll see yourself traveling through space. You won't see a ship, mind you, but you'll see those stars come forward. Uh, and you see these tabs, I really like the developer did is that the developer is always adding to these tabs. So these are numbered tabs that has no function, but they have numbers there. Which goes to show that the person or people behind this app are, are going to add more to it. Here's the simulator mode. Uh, it's kind of like a mini game within the app. I really like it. It's uh, The goal is to destroy the ships and you're kind of changing the direction of the, the yaw and the pitch. And you're trying to pretty much make sure that wherever the enemy's coming, the direction the fire is coming from, you've gotten your shields and you're rotating the ship to, to, to pretty much have an even ratio. You can do phasers, navigation, torpedoes, sensors. It's a pretty good game. Uh, very, very good. Another thing I like about it is just what you can do with the app. It doesn't really do anything. But with the little thing that you can do, such as the time app, is it shows you the clock, right? Or within the OS, I keep saying apps, I'm getting confused. You can start up a kind of like a stopwatch, which is decent, giving you some functionality. Reset it. It also has a self-destruct countdown. I thought it was awesome. Uh, you can start it out, right? Engage the countdown. Warning. Auto-destruct sequence has been initiated. Uh, it switches over to red alert. Really think that's cool. You can cancel it. Um, as far as configuration, this is bottom tab at the bottom. Anytime, any place. Before we get into that, uh, you can set red alert. Uh, I'm kind of cheesy. I work in a cubicle type environment, so whenever the boss is coming around to to task people, I let my fellow Star Trekky comrades know by sounding red alert. Of course, uh, you have to be a Star Trek person, though. It's it's. Again, it's a it's an app for us Star Trek geeks, and I, and I enjoy it. Um, and again, going back to the configure mode, you can uh, here you can write your name, you can write the registry number, uh, you can use star date, 24 hours, and uh, you can kind of go from there. It has within tabs where you can change the themes, whatever you like, to make your little cars your own. So whatever type you use. I thought it was good. I really like that. Sounds, you can change the sounds a bit and you can also change the regular if you're a Star Trek, the next generation kind of person. You uh, you have that. So, um, all in all, I really, really like this app. Uh, it's, it's good for Windows uh, Store. It is the number one download up there now. So if you were thinking about it, uh, and if it fits you, please go ahead and join it. We're going to waste some money apps all the time. We had uh, three bros all uh, game want to make sure that we know what we're getting into. And we like to review time to time special apps that take special interest. And I think these are one of these apps. Um, please, if I uh, comment, uh, if you like this app, uh, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. And this app is available on iPad and Android, but uh, with not as much full functionality, well, range, excuse me range of features as this one uh, really really good app it's not falls into productivity doesn't fall into I think entertainment and that's a small window it is for cheesiness and you'll probably once you get it get tired of it after a month and then go on and off with it from there cool app really enjoy it thanks for watching three bros all game new man out